Hey, it's Dwayne from Improvisations with another improv learning quick tip for managers accessing their employee schedules. That's right, schedules. We're breaking away from the time card for the next few episodes to talk about another task that most managers have to undertake, adding and editing an employee schedule. We're going to start with the basics, adding a shift via in-cell editing and adding a shift using copying and paste functions. We are also going to talk about how you're going to delete a shift from an employee schedule. So if you see here, we are in the schedule editor for our employees. And if you look at the bottom row, you'll see Clyde Vaughn. And for the selected time period, he has zero scheduled hours. And that tells us he's not scheduled. So let's go ahead and apply some shifts for Clyde just for the next couple of days. The easiest way to add a shift is to use what's called in-cell editing. And to do that, we click on the appropriate cell and we type 3p-1130p. This is going to be Clyde's shift on Monday, 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Now we click on another cell, and the scheduled shift is accepted. If you had made a mistake, put a really long shift, put some times that aren't recognized, or maybe threw in a weird letter, Workforce Timekeeper would tell you and give you an error message. But our shift is accepted. So now we go up and see that the page header is orange and that there's an asterisk in front of it. What does that tell you? It tells you that we have unsaved changes. So we're going to click Save, and now our shift is saved. Now, if we want to use the copy and paste feature, let's say we're going to apply the 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. shift on Tuesday, we simply right-click on the shift we want to copy and choose Copy. We right-click on the cell for the date the shift will be pasted to and choose Paste. And again, we save our changes. Let's say on Wednesday, Clyde was going to work from 7 to 3.30, and I have that shift on someone else's schedule. I could find that shift, right-click, choose Copy, Go to Wednesday, which is the day we're going to apply the shift, right-click, and choose Paste. So you can copy from anyone else's schedule, not simply Clyde's. Again, we save our changes. One more thing. The Copy and Paste features are also available under the Actions bar, Actions menu. So let's say we're going to copy 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. on Thursday and Friday. I could click on the shift and highlight it, then go up to Actions, Copy, go to Thursday, choose Actions, paste. Click on Friday and go again, actions, paste. And of course save our changes. Now that's an option that's available to you. People like to use different things to accomplish different things. Frankly, I think right clicking is faster and more efficient. But what I think doesn't matter, what you think matters, do what works best. So now we've talked about how we add a shift. How do we delete a shift? Well, quite frankly, it's the same process. We go to the shift we want to delete Wednesday. Let's say we want Clyde to work from 3 to 11.30 instead of 7 to 3.30, we right-click on that shift and choose Delete. Again, we save our changes, and the shift is gone. Now, we have some good tools in our toolbox, but I want you to understand that the tools we've talked about today, adding a shift in in-cell editing, copying and pasting shifts, are not the tools you would want to use if you're going to create someone's entire schedule. These tools work best when you're adding a shift here or adding a shift there. You're not going to apply a schedule over weeks or months worth of time. There are other tools that Kronos has that help you do that better. And we're going to talk about those in later quick tips. I hope this quick tip has been useful to you as you go about editing your employees' schedules. Please feel free to fill out the shortest survey known to man on the blog entry that you access to get to this quick tip. We'd love to get your feedback. We want to hear what you have to say. Good luck using Kronos, Workforce Timekeeper, and make it a great day.